Hi, this is Kibo, and this is part 8 of the PP Pull Pack by Amada. There are 6 prisms and 36 normal cards. And part 8, I actually find that um, the prism was the hardest to find among all 33 parts, including part 0. But in terms of the regular cards, it's not as difficult as part 0. At least to me, like based on my experience in collecting them. So here are the prisms. It starts with card number 295 and ends on 336. And one thing you'll notice, they once again changed the design. You got the power up at the top and then you got a starting base number and then you got plus or minus. And also at the bottom it's just a very thin border on the side. And on the back, they pretty much kept it the same as part 7 where you got the little barcode and in a minute I'll show you the reason like what these are for these prisms not only were they pretty hard to find it was pretty expensive This one right here, when I was collecting, it was the last card I needed, and I was so desperate, I actually paid $50 to a trader to buy it off of him. So here's the start of the normal cards. This one I have a little tape mark. I'll probably clean it later on. So for this card, you'll understand the reason why there's these little boxes. It's actually a silver etching. Um, supposedly, you're supposed to use the coin to scratch it off and it'll reveal the power-ups. I did not do it for this one because when I got it, it was um, intact and I didn't want to scratch any of it off. So even if it's the same card number, um, every card's different in terms of what's behind the silver etching. So Goku's still on his way to Namek, and they're starting to encounter Frieza and his and his followers or minions, whatever you call them, subordinates. He actually got some movie, The Tree of Might. So that's it for the PP collection by Mata Part 8, and thanks for watching.